in this video we are going to be working with this exercise which means we ask you to create an array of numbers based on the start number and the end number excluding the end number um, the end number can be the same as the start number uh, but no smaller and you don't have a length of zero means that you need to have a start and end number we're going to do this in uh, different parts. The first part is having the a specific number for a start and end, let's say 5 and 10, which means that we are expecting to have the number 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 as a result. And then we're going to include the user interaction, which means that we're going to have a scanner to read the number of for the start mm -hmm. and end. That's it. So, and we need to have some variables. Uh, the first variable that we need to have is a start number. Uh, then we have the end number and the array for for the and the array for for the for the numbers to be uh, located in. So all of these variables are integers because the problem requires us to we use integers. So the first thing is going to be creating, or in this case, yes, creating our variables. After that, uh, we have their type int, and we have a star, and we're going to initialize them because we say that first we want to make sure that it worked, and then we're going to, as a user, to provide us with the, deep, with the specific number. Uh, and we have 10. And then we have a, an array, which is the type int uh, is an array. So we need to include this uh, bracket. And we need to give it a name. So let's say array number. And we're going to call an int. Now, what is the size of this array? Well, the size will be the from start to end, means that it's a range. So we can basically say here that this will be from start to end. If this doesn't work, we're just going to have a calculation in the, as a middleman and then put it here as a number. So the, this is the size of the array, and the size of the array will be, in this case, 5. We're giving a little bit of extra space. Now we have to create a for loop that will go from the start to the end and will be adding it will have the star and then a, a plus one plus two plus three plus four until it reach the end so we have four we want to start in zero because this is the number that will be adding to the star to print star and then the next one and then the next one and the next one so we want to go <coughs> i smaller than is a m minus star look at here we are using the same expression to include until uh, when we're going to work and we have a, a i plus plus now inside of it we are going to make sure that our array in the position in the position zero what is the position zero? Oh, i. And then our array in the position zero will be equal to the number that is the star. In this case, a star. But we're going to be updating this. So we can have a star, a star plus i. At the beginning, i is zero. So it will be only a star. And then will be a, a, a star plus one, and then a star plus two, and then a star plus three, and so on. So our array with this will be populated with the different numbers. We can we can uh, print this lay, uh, as a for loop as well. So this for loop is to populate the array. And then we're going to have another for loop for printing the array. It's the same for loop. I mean, the same structure, so we just need to change this. Uh, it's the same length, 
we just need to we just need to print now instead of this we're just going to print and uh, print the number so we have pre system print and the number in the corresponding pa in the corresponding position of the array um, let's check if this is correct and then if not we need to modify this as a variable range and this uh, starting n and so on so let's see see you see five six seven and nine perfect of course uh, this does uh, is not jumping another line because uh, is this compiler I, I'm sure if you do it in ex Eclipse or other uh, compiler it will do the line this sometimes uh, do it you see sometimes doesn't uh, but that's no a pro no no a coding problem you see okay perfect of course we want to print a little message here so system uh, we want to print this is your array uh, print a line your array is boom and then you have the number uh, we can we can put something more sophisticated like the array given the starting number boom and given the ending number ban is that one now we just need to add a, a scanner to instead of fixing this instead of fixing this number we can actually uh, let the user type those numbers what does it say okay this let's see perfect book now uh, to include the scanner remember that you need to import the scanner import um, we have the the java util java dot yo java dot util dot uh, we can have all of them or you can just print the scanner so now that we have this we can we need to create in, insert the scanner or create the scanner variable and we have for that if this is supposed to be here why all of this we need to give a tap okay perfect um so we have a, a scanner and we're gonna call it a scanner and we have let's call it etsy of, of scanner and we're gonna have a new a scanner with the system point in that in and now that we have our scanner variable we just need to make integer uh, start and end equal to that we're gonna do that later here we're just gonna initialize them as zero both of them then we change it before we populate the array here so we have we need a message for our user we're gonna copy this we have insert insert your starting starting number and to read it um, you have made sure that you save it on a start and you say point next next uh, integer right and integer just here need this let's see if this work properly as we expect let's keep the n at 10 and make let's just read the start number from the user starting number five and then enter sorry and your array is here perfect so we are going to do the same thing for the ending number insert your ending number ending number and here we have the number the number the ending number saving it on the variable n and it, all the calculation will be the same as before so you have the starting number and the number your array is this 
and that will solve our problem. You can, you can add security, but that is not part of the exercise. Uh, you can add security by saying if the starting number that that user input is bigger than the ending number, um, which is something that it says here, it cannot happen. So if that happened, read it again. Um, integer, that doesn't exclude negative numbers. So that is okay. You can have negative numbers. Let's try with negative numbers real quick. Uh, we're going to add a negative number, negative five. Let's see how it goes, and from five, perfect. Um, now, we just need to make sure that this will, uh, that the security part works. Um, that you can do it by yourself as a next stage. Bye-bye.